What's going on, everybody? James Paul Shepard with Filmcore Digital. And today we're going to take a look at an effect from one of my favorite X Men, Gambit. Let's get into it. Now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, you're going to import your footage. You're going to select where you want your footage to start if you haven't already. You can put in and out points by hitting I on the keyboard for the end point and O on the keyboard for the out point. Drag your clip to the timeline and we're going to head over to the Fusion tab. Now that we're in Fusion, we're going to go ahead and clean up the area. We're going to click and have one viewer to give us a little more room. You're going to click your media. We're going to hit shift space and we're going to bring in a planar tracker. Now we're going to click around the card. Go ahead and make sure that's lined up. With the planar tracker selected, we're going to have over the inspector. We're going to change it to transition, rotation, and scale. We're going to hit set and then we're going to track forward. Now we're going to hit go to go back to the start point and then we're going to hit track backwards. With the planar tracker still selected, we're going to head back over to the inspector. We're going to hit create planar transform. Hold shift and we're going to drag out the planar tracker. Now we're going to create the smoke effect from the card. So we're going to bring in a P emitter, shift space, bring in a P turbulence. We're going to bring in a P directional force. And then we're going to bring in a P render. Now with the P emitter selected, we're going to increase the number somewhere around like 90. And we're going to bring the lifespan to about 28. Make sure that's in the viewer so you can see. Now we're going to select the P turbulence and we're going to go over to the inspector. We're going to do the X strength at 0.3, Y strength at 0.3, and the Z strength at 0.2. Now we're going to select the directional force, increase the strength to 0 0.0186. You can play around with these numbers and then the direction is going to be 90. We're going to go over to the render node and we're going to change it to 2D. You're going to right click on the viewer and go down to options, uncheck checker underlay so now you have a black background you can see shift space add a blur make sure that's in the viewer we're gonna head over to the inspector bring the blur size up to five we're gonna shift space bring in a soft glow make sure the soft glow is in the viewer we're gonna head over to the inspector bring up the gain to five and change the glow to somewhere around like 19 play around with these numbers then we're gonna bring in a brightness contrast node we're going to bring the gain up to five. And then we're going to bring in an erode. And you're going to go over and drop the amount completely down. We're going to bring in a fast noise. Bring the detail up around six, seven ish. You play around with these numbers again. Contrast. We're going to increase that a bit. Bring the scale up to. 13 ish and then bring the seed rate up to around 1.97 with the road node selected we're going to go ahead and add a cc color corrector bring it to the color that you want make sure the color node is in the viewer i selected a gambit purplish color after that we're going to add another blur just play around with this now we're going to highlight all of them. We're going to group them. Now you're going to bring in two merge nodes. You're going to take your planar tracker and the merge. We're going to connect the merge to it and then connect the merge back to your media and it creates another merge. We're going to select the background, connect it to the first merge, change that color to a purplish color of gambits, bring the alpha down so you can see. We're going to add a polygon and we're going to mask out the card head over to the inspector play around with the softness we're going to add a fast noise to the merge one node and then grab the polygon and connect it to the fast noise with the fast noise node selected we're going to bring up the detail contrast the seethe rate we're going to bring up the seethe the scale again play with these numbers head over to the background bring the alpha back up and just go back into the fast noise node and mess around with the setting you just want to fine tune these numbers that looks good for your footage 
Now you're going to select the media, bring it back in so you can mask around the thumb. So you're going to grab another polygon. We're going to mask around the thumb or whatever finger you have holding the card. Whatever is covering the card, you want to mask around. You want to pipe that into the polygon. With the way that polygons work, it has to be in a specific order. We're going to switch these around and then pipe that one in. And with the second polygon node selected, you're going to change it from merge to subtract. And it might shift on you. Just grab it and put it back to where it would cover up. And then bring that soft edge up a little bit. You need to fix it, adjust it, move it around. Now we're going to take the smoke. We're going to add a transform node. And then we're going to pipe that into the second merge node. And then we're going to grab that and move it over the card. Now you just want to adjust the size, angle, whatever fits your footage. Go to the Merge 2 node and change the Apply mode to Screen. Bring down the blend a little bit. Again, you want to play with these numbers that fits your footage. You're going to grab the second Merge node and we're going to add a blur. Just play around with this, bring it up a little bit. If your computer's having trouble rendering this in real time, you can go ahead, right click, and remove motion blur and high quality. This doesn't affect the output of the video. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another polygon. We're gonna connect it to the third merge. I like to make a little jiggity jaggedy shape so it makes it look like it's scattered. So you're gonna put that over, bring up the soft edge. And what you wanna do is you wanna find out where you want it to come on. Then you're going to keyframe the center point, move back just before you want it to come on, drag it out of frame, and now you should have something like this. And that's a way that you can create the card charge effect. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe. And remember, keep creating. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the... And that's a way that you can create... Blah, blah, blah. And that's a way that you can create the gambit charge card effect.